So you guys have been seeing a lot about this 48 hour film challenge stuff that we've been posting. And I really felt the need to kind of jump on camera and kind of expand on it, especially since this is a fascinating experience and it really did push and test our team to the absolute max. So what is the 48 hour film challenge? Well, this is something that is sponsored and provided uh, by the state of South Carolina. In fact, other states are actually involved in it. It's actually international. And they challenge us with making a film in 48 hours from start to finish. So they basically give you a genre, they actually give you two. And they also give you a prop and then a line of dialogue and then a character and his name or her name. And they also give uh, some type of background on that character. And so you're supposed to create a film uh, around the character or around the prop or whatever uh, on Friday uh, they basically gave us uh, all of those parameters and told us to go out and make a film that's pretty much what it was and you can end the video right here um, you know because I respect your time but if you're watching this on YouTube and you want a little bit more expansion well here's the documentary so it started off on Friday where basically uh, me I had my team kind of you know, meet with us um, at an office space. And basically we kind of just sat down and got through the creative process. You know, we were given a salesman, a, uh, a prop of a notepad or a notebook. Well, the line of dialogue was that doesn't go there. The genre that we were able to pull, that I pulled out of a, a random, you know, genre pool was a sci-fi film or a fusion of a road film. Now the first thing that hit me as soon as I pulled, I'm like, are you kidding me? All right, so this 48 hour film challenge was uh, insane. Um, super enjoyable, super exciting. Um, never done anything like this before in my life. We had so many talented people and there were so many great ideas. I realized in that moment, we just don't have enough time. We have 48 hours and everybody's idea is so wonderful. It was challenging, hence the name, but it was also very fun. Got to work with a bunch of people that hadn't actually worked with on a film before. It was exciting and rewarding to be able to work with the team on something that I love to do, which is making films, and being able to grow from this experience and learn what to do, what not to do. Being able to walk away with a product that I can actually share with other people that I can be proud of. The different ideas going this way, this way, and then having to counteract it, and a lot of the ideas is just what's well, not feasible to be able to be done in 48 hours. But we were able to um, eventually come up with the idea um, get it fleshed out for something that we are more used to doing and um, used to filming we've done it before so we know the process um, the film style the editing style so that we're able to just make a decision and be able to get it accomplished because that's the important thing if you have a deadline you have to get the film done before that deadline um, you know one of the major challenges too that we faced uh, was really um, the weather, you know, the weather really limited us because we knew that we would have to be out in the rain with really, um, you know, you know, expensive camera equipment and, you know, we had people, we don't, I don't want to make anyone get sick. So I'm examining all of that too as a team lead as well. Um, it was really challenging to really make sure that everyone was taken care of and fed and I really wanted everyone to have a good time and have a role. And um, speaking of roles too, um, I think that was another challenge too. I had never worked with, me personally speaking, I only film things usually with a team of three or four people. I've never really worked with a team of nine to ten people and so that was really, really um, different for me and it was really exciting at first because I realized, oh, you know, uh, this is going to be really cool. But then I realized very quickly that um, I'm not used to managing nine to ten people. So, um, so the rain um, that came Saturday, it being very, very busy with people walking. We were up very late a few nights. You should definitely go into this trying to be a team player. This is probably the biggest takeaway. You accomplish something. That's the biggest uh, uh, satisfaction. Whenever you set yourself to do something, you exert yourself so much to be proud of the end, end result, which I'm definitely proud of and uh, the rest of the team is as well. Depending on what your role is or how much experience you have, definitely go into it being a team player and willing to work with others. I think the biggest takeaway um, that I, for me personally, that I got was um, we should probably have assigned one script writer, one screenplay writer, and one story person to write a story and create a story, and then we just do that. Like, that's it. Definitely, first thing, to walk in with a great attitude. Um, having a good attitude on the outset is essential. Um, being able to be open-minded and work with a team, realizing that 
sometimes you may have your own ideas or vision of way the story should go or way things should go, but realizing that you have, you have to be open and, and collaborative with others. Get the shots that you need as quick as you can um, without having to redo too much because you're on a limited schedule. Really on the production, starting earlier because we you know we lost some time trying to come up with a story i think having a smaller team if you've never managed a bigger team is good having a smaller team and make really you know make sure your team is full of talented people that can wear multiple hats i think that's a really good thing and being able to communicate effectively and understanding that, that it is a challenge it's called 48 hour film challenge so understand that you're going to have challenges you're going to run into so many different things that you may not have even imagined before but being able to uh, have the mindset of we're going to overcome this challenge to create something uh, together as a team is the biggest thing I would say. Stay within your means. Um, and what I say by that is lean into what you are a master at. Um, do exactly what you know you can do and can produce and that you can do very quickly. Uh, because doing it, being able to do it really quickly and leaning into something you're already master at um, is going to help you to give it more polish and give it the, um, you know, the best look that it can be and product for the competition.